All right, so in this video, we're going to continue factoring by grouping. But when we factor by grouping, if we don't make a, a good decision with our GCF, sometimes we're going to end up with binomials that are opposites, okay? And I want to show you, I want to make sure you know how to handle a situation where uh, the common binomial factor may be opposites, all right? I'm not going to go through these bullet points again like I did before. Um, you should have covered factoring polynomials by grouping before, so these, it's just a review of that. If you need to read over them again, just pause the video and read those uh, right now, okay? But factoring by grouping, and again, there's going to be opposites here if we don't make the right decision uh, with our GCF. So in number one here, I'm already in standard form, okay? So I do want to group the first two terms together and the last two terms together, all right? So when I look at this first uh, pair of terms, I, I know 10 and 15, both divisible by 5, and I know x cubed and x squared have a GCF of x squared, okay? So when I divide this binomial by my GCF, I'm left inside the parentheses with 2x minus 3, okay? So now, Notice I separated these when I had the when I added the parentheses. I, I left a plus sign here. I think it's important for you guys to remember to do that because the eight x is negative, the twelve is positive. I want to make sure that stays that way. So uh, when I put parentheses around, I'm always going to put a plus sign here. Okay. So now when you look at negative eight x and positive twelve, maybe you think the GCF is going to be positive four, and that's okay. It's it's going to move us down the road a little bit, which is fine. But it, that's not the ideal GCF, but let's say that's what you decided to do. So when I divide these two terms by that positive 4, I'm left with a binomial of negative 2x plus 3. Okay, so notice in blue here, these are not the same. They're not common binomials that I can just move on ahead and get an answer. They happen to be opposites. All right, so in class recently, we talked about what to do if these were opposites. Okay, so I'm not going to change this first one here yet, okay? But what I want to do is if I take a negative 1 from this, if I divide out a negative 1, so the 4 is still there, I'm going to divide out a negative 1. And what happens in parentheses when I divide each of these by that negative 1, now I end up with a 2x minus 3. So notice now my binomials are the same, so I can continue on factoring by grouping, all right? What I should have done initially is just take out a negative 4. But sometimes you're going to make a mistake and not take out the, the optimal uh, GCF. You're just going to take out what happens to be a common factor. Okay? So now i just got to clean it up. I've got to multiply this 4 and this negative 1 together. So I end up with 5x squared minus 4 as my first uh, binomial. And then my common binomial will follow. 2x minus 3. Okay, so that's going to be the answer. All right, let's take a look at number 2. If you want to pause the video here and give it a try on your own, go ahead, and then you can come back and check. Okay, but notice this is not in standard form yet. So the first thing I want to do is rearrange it. Make sure the signs of each of the terms stay the same. So the 10 is still positive, the 2y is still negative, the y squared is still negative, and so on. All right, so again, I'm going to group the first in, uh, pair of terms and the last pair of terms. Okay. Um, here, 3y cubed and negative 15y squared, both divisible by 3y squared. And what's left in parentheses is going to be y minus 5. So just like in the previous example, we got a negative 2y and a 10. And you're like, well, both of those are even, so I can take out a positive 2. But when I do that, on the inside, I'm left with negative y plus 5. Again, notice the blue binomials here. They're not common. They're not alike but they are opposites, okay? So what I'm going to do again, first, uh, I'm not going to do anything with that first uh, pair. I'm going to take out a negative 1 again so I can switch both these signs, and that becomes y minus 5. And again, now those match up, okay? So my first binomial is going to be 3y squared, and then a 2 times a negative 1, so 3y squared minus 2, and then my common binomial will follow y minus 5, okay? Just like before, I didn't say it about the first one, but you can always check, multiply these two binomials together, multiply these two binomials together, you should get the problem that you started with, that way you know you're right, okay?